Okay, so here I have some of the dolphins that I made yesterday. They're somewhat hard, and I'm gonna try to clean them up some more of this white residue because the soap wasn't fully, the soap dough wasn't fully ready yesterday. I did, I did shave a little bit of the sky. <coughs> And when it gets a little bit hotter, I'll, I may do some more shaping so it looks more smooth. I'm gonna show you how I made it. Um, I pretty much have this great soap dough. Um, my result with the dough was not as good as it's supposed to be because I didn't pay attention to the temperature. I should have had, um, I should have done it when it was in the 70s or 80s however I when I was mixing the soap you know the lye with the oils it was more of 130 140 so this is going to be a cylinder like a log and one end is going to be the tail and the other one is going to be the head the end that's going to be the tail I'm going to pinch and then I'm going to start flattening the tail and then pinching the corners. It has to be somewhat thin though to resemble closer <coughs> what the dolphin tail is like. And when you pinch on the corners, you want to curve it into the inside and flatten some more. The tail is also going to have a division Yesterday I did this with my nail, and if you have some flat object, this is actually a letter opener, you can do so. So there's a tail, now this is going to be the head, <coughs> and what you want to do is start pressing around to create a pointy end where his nose and mouth is and the top is going to be more flat because it's not really a sharp pointy mouth or nose or whatever you call that part so it's kind of like this <coughs> at this point I'm going to use the white and I'm going to add it to what I will consider to be the bottom part of the dolphin and then just smooth it to make it stick <coughs> like this And my dolphin is a little fat, so I'm going to make some adjustments here so that towards the end it's gonna go thinner. <coughs> At this point, I'm going to make the eyes. And the eyes are usually... Um, if this is the mouth, which I might need to do a little longer. If this is the end of the nose or mouth, and this will be considered the head, they're gonna be somewhat on, on the middle, if you can picture half of it, like this. <coughs> it could be actually lower, but that's good. And then you sort of picture an imaginary line so that you can do it on the same spot on the opposite side of the hand. <coughs> and with your nails, or if you have a tool like this, you also start doing the mouth. Like 
like this and also it's gonna come around to the other side and the mouth comes underneath the eye almost if you look at pictures of dolphins you'll see that most of them appear to be smiling So you could try to make him be smiling as well. <coughs> now with the extra gray soap dough, I'm going to make the fin. And this, I'm just flattening this and making uh, somewhat of a triangle with it. <coughs> and I'm going to stick it it has to be after like it's somewhat in the middle of the body now in here it doesn't look natural that's okay what you want to do is start smoothing it out on the side so that it merges <coughs> to the body like this. I'm doing it on both sides. And once you have it on it, then you may want to want to reshape it so that it points toward the back and make it a little bit thinner on the very top edge <coughs> for a more realistic look. So I'm pinching and pinching on the top and on the side. He also, this is a big fin for his body. Oh well, I'll try to make it a bit smaller. And then I'm going to make the other two fins that go with the Maybe those are not pins, I'm not sure. But they go at the bottom of his body. And I'm just making just sort of like a watermelon slice shape. And flatten it. Uh, this one's go somewhere underneath the mouth, direction-wise. But they go at the bottom of the body. And on the size of each... It's each side of his body. <clears throat> Ideally, you would have made both of them at the same time. That way, they are the same size. <clears throat> but I'm not that much of a perfectionist sometimes. So this is good for me. <clears throat> Then I will continue to smoothen this on the top and at the bottom to make it stick I'm going to use this pencil to make sure it sticks to the white part and it won't come off. Well, just like that you have the dolphin. then you just let it dry and it will become hard at that point I may come and smooth them make him um, look more grayed without this white residue on it which is just cure soap that dries speckles all right 